Staff General Secretary Len McCluskey brought a message of solidarity and support to the Muslim community when he addressed worshippers at Brick Lane Mosque. Afterwards, he walked through Brick Lane Market to the East London Mosque to the Tower Hamlet's executive mayor, Lutfur Rahman. At the mosque, he explained the purpose of the visit. Gilmar, thank you very much. Uh, and, you know, just listening to Dr. Barry and to Lutfur, um, in many respects, they've uh, captured precisely why we are here. My union unites is the largest in our nations and covers every single sector of the economy. Every job that you can think of, Unite has a member in it. And of course, we've been deeply concerned of late since the incident in Woolwich, and it was uh, absolutely right that Lutfer made it clear that, of course, the Muslim community condemned that act of savagery as they did the minute it acted. Uh, but we are conscious of the fact that, again, the Muslim community, not only here in London, but throughout our country, have been subjected to an increase in attacks, attacks on mosques and Islamic centres. And it's for that reason that we wanted to come down and demonstrate our solidarity uh, with your community, because our philosophy is quite simple. Working people of all nationalities, of all creeds, of all religions need to work together for a better world because that's precisely what we're all looking for. Our values in the trade union movement are exactly the same values as the Muslim community, seeking fairness and justice, respect. And it is very, very important in difficult times when the right-wing media attempt to whip up hatred, that we send a clear message out that we're not going to allow them to divide our communities. The ruling elite, the right-wing media, have a history of always wanting to divide workers. It doesn't matter who it might be. At the moment, the issue of Islam is used to try to divide workers, to whip up hatred. And uh, certainly in my union, we're going to do everything we can to combat that. Of course, within Unite, our one and a half million members, we have thousands of Muslim uh, members. Um, and of course, within Unite, we constantly seek to promote the issue of racial harmony, constantly promoting the issue of respect, and constantly learning from the multinational membership that we have, and that fantastic um, uh, degree of heritage that that brings us, so that we can all learn from. My ancestors were Irish. They came over from Ireland, and at the time were subjected to the attacks of the media, trying to turn English workers against Irish workers, um, telling people that it was Irish people to blame for all of the problems, taking their jobs, taking their houses. And of course that form of discrimination is something that is inbred in a capitalist society. Um, I don't want to get too political, but the truth is that the only way to combat that hatred is through uh, standing shoulder to shoulder and saying that working people have the same values because we do, we have exactly the same values. Dilwa, you and I have just realised they've got something in common because you said that you were attacked by the National Front. Well, so was I. <laughs> I was attacked by the National Front uh, when I was a young uh, teenager back in Merseyside. Um, and of course, we also uh, did our fair bit of attacking them as well. Uh, and long may that be the case, because although democracy and free speech is absolutely vital to all of us, whether you allow people to openly preach hatred uh, because we're in a democratic system, I put a big question mark. <coughs> against. Organisations like the BNP, like the English Defence League, are not interested at all 
in democracy. So every time they come out onto the streets, we come out onto the streets to reject them. I had the opportunity to mention before in the mosque that it was a privilege for me with your mayor to open up our community centre. Um, and it was a community centre opened in Cable Street, this historic street within the history of our labour movement, where the trade unions and the ordinary community within this district stood shoulder to shoulder back in 1936 to repel the fascists at the time. The black shirts as they were called, although of course they were the supporters of Hitler and sought to create racial tension here in the East End. And they were beaten back and defeated. And just two years ago, exactly the same when the English Defence League emerged on our streets. We were there to challenge them and to drive them back. So it has been a privilege for me uh, to come here uh, today, to come into your community, to go into your mosques, and to offer the hand, not only of friendship, but of solidarity, in the hope that we can work closer together. Uh, as Dr. Barry says, it's always been within this community a strong sense of trade unionism. And, uh, we, of course, now have opened our family uh, to anyone, not just those in work, but those who are not working can now come and join the family of Unite. And I invite you to spread the word so that that happens. That's why we are back in our communities. I know, and every time I come to communities of this nature, irrespective of the ethnicity of the community, I meet decent, ordinary people. And I know that that goodness is enough to make certain that all of us coming together can create a better world for everyone. So thank you very much.